Hey guys, I'm here today with a little not too shabby haul plus my cards using the Doodlebug Lots of Love collection. If you don't want to see what's in the collection, you can skip ahead to where I show you the cards. Um, but I'll go ahead and show you real quick what I got first. Got a little sucker that I'll enjoy later. And then I got a free gift, this little ink pad. It's MFT's Lazy Day. Really pretty blue. Add that to my little tin um, of inks. Uh, we'll start with these. This was also a free gift um, when you spend a certain amount. And this is the Shaker Pops Sweet Tea. Isn't that cute? So cute. This is the Doodle Pop Hello Love. Doodle Pop Hug Bugs. <laughs> cute. The Do Doodle Pops Love Note. Doodle Pops All My Love. Doodle Pops Sending Love. The Shaker Pops Telly Time. Sweet. And then I picked up the Shape Sprinkles Lots of Love. Thought those had a bunch of cute little images. Then I got the Sprinkles Love You More, just little hearts that are good for any card. And then the Happy Hearts, which are really cute. I picked up these dies. I don't obviously know what I'm gonna do with my card making. I don't know if I'll use these in this video, but um, I love the little envelopes you get. So it's called Standalone Doodle Cuts Love Notes. And then here's a little. So you get two envelopes. I love you, XO, love you, couple heart, three hearts, a little stamp, and then um, this little piece of, uh, looks like notebook paper, little holes. So here is what you can do with those. Really cute. Okay, I got the chit chat. Lots of love and I'll show you what comes in there. Of course, if you've caught any of my other Doodlebug um, videos, these this would be like your sentiments. Um, it does come with a, the collection does have a coordinating stamp set and I looked at it for a really long time but I was like, nope, nope, nope. You don't need any more stamp sets and this is fine. <laughs> so um, these have all the sentiments. It's 88 die cut pieces and you get various, you do get some little uh, floral pieces, but you get various shapes of sentiments. So we get banners and you get the words, then you get these little thingies and then circles and it's a nice variety. And I always have a ton left over. Next is the lots of love bits and pieces. And I don't think bits and pieces comes in every collection, um, but it's real simple. It has 95 die cut pieces. The bits and pieces I've gotten um, have a floral theme. And then in this one, you have a couple little pieces of paper and then some tags. So that'll be cute for layering. And then my favorite is the odds and ends. And of course, this, these are all your ephemera pieces, um, your little characters and they're just so cute. You need 136. And when I make my cards, I lay all these out around me and then I just kind of design my cards and go from there. So here's the pattern paper. It's a uh, 24 double-sided cardstock. Hardest part is le uh, learning. <laughs> Hardest part is using, choosing what to use. So we'll flip through these really quick. This one says XOXO parts. These you can cut up in little tags um, because the other side you can actually write on them. So this is sweet. Little hot air balloons. You can use these for layering or um, if you do journaling. But also it has the floral side. You don't use this side. Love the design of the rainbows. Little clouds. Little cutout things to add to your card if you want. This is cute little notebook paper. 
floral polka dots and then it starts over. Usually with one of these, I um, cut off all the strips and then I'll use them in my card. So it's not gonna be a process video, but I will show you the 10 cards I made using all of this stuff. If you're interested in any of the items, I will link it below. I did get it from the Not Too Shabby Shop. You can uh, use code Jamie to save 10%. I'm not a design team member anymore, so I don't I don't think my code still works. I would assume not, but a Jamie will, J-A-M-I-E, and I'll have that down there. Um, and I'll link to Jamie's shop and not too shabby, but also scrapbook.com just in case Jamie's out of stock of anything and, uh, you know, you want to pick something up. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy my cards. Let me know what your favorite card is as you're watching. I always love to hear that. And um, we'll go ahead and get started. All right, here are my cards. We'll start with this first one. Simple hello card. I uh, <clears throat> used a couple pieces of pattern paper and then these are ephemera pieces. I put hello, thanks a bunch, and then I added a little, um, what is this called? This heart, the shaped sprinkles heart. Popped up the, butter the butterfly. <laughs> the rainbow and the hello. I really like the style of these rainbows. Isn't that cute? Added a little cloud. And of course it coordinates with that pattern paper. Next I used some of the flower images and I didn't use any pattern paper because some of the pattern paper that was floral, it would get, the flowers would get lost. So I thought this was pretty and simple just for a simple hello card and I added three of the little tiny sprinkled hearts and all these are um, on white card bases next I did a happy birthday card which I think is really sweet um, the pattern paper is kind of Valentine's XOXO whatever um, but I added a couple of the little like these are cotton candies a donut the two heart cookies cupcakes a little shake and then happy birthday and back here is a tag you can't really see it and then I add a little pink twine from my stash and a little shaped sprinkle heart. This next one is so cute. Um, it says, you're my sweet tea. Is this supposed to be boba tea, do you think? I'm wondering, I really wanna try it, but I'm afraid. <laughs> So if you have tried boba tea, could you let me know what kind you like? Because I'm willing to try it, but I am so picky that more than likely I won't like it. But I'll try it. So anyway, um, so I added a couple pieces of the pattern paper. This piece is um, like a file tab, you know, the top part that came with one of the uh, collections. I think it came with the bits and pieces. So this and you fold it. Um, I did that there, added the sentiment, and then some hearts. And then these two pieces are two separate pieces that I just layered together. And again, that piece of pattern paper that had the strips of the designs, I, that's one of the strips. And I added a little tea bag there. Not that if this is boba tea, it wouldn't really go. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> it's cute nonetheless. This one I thought was precious. I really like the male themed cards so um, I wanted to use this little package with the mailbox and then I tucked the balloons behind it added a couple of the heart sprinkles or yeah and then layered the pattern paper this is the pattern paper that has the little hot air balloon with the letter as the basket and then added a little envelope and popped those up this one's fairly simple, but I think it is so cute. So just a couple really loud pieces of pattern paper. And then I really like this love. And then I added the U ephemera piece. And then I added the little doodle pop ladybug because this pattern reminded me kind of of a ladybug with the polka dots. Oh, and on this one, I used Love From Lizzie peel-offs. So you can barely see it, it's better in person, but it's kind of like a light purple to finish off the edges of that piece of pattern paper. This one was the first card I made and it was so stinking cute. So again, two layers of pattern paper. I used peel-offs here, they're red. I have that sparkle. Then I used a piece of notebook paper with the ephemera piece typewriter. And then this right here is that strip of pattern paper. And then sending all my love, 
with a little letter. And then this is one of the Doodle Pops, the little heart. Isn't that so cute? That's probably one of my favorite cards. This one is uh, another simple card, just paired up some pattern paper together. Um, here is, again, that strip um, from the six by six that I cut out, just to kind of layer it, add some interest. I did use um, a peel off here. It's a yellow, but it's kind of clear, but it does have some sparkle. And I just used it on the bottom. And then I just added these two pieces of ephemera and popped them up. Just some simple card. This card was the last one I made and I really wanted to incorporate this XOXO, this stamp, and then I thought these little bears were cute. So um, I just love, again, the whole male stamp theme. Um, and I don't know, it's just really cute. And then I added a little uh, enamel heart, the shape sprinkle, which actually matches that little face. So isn't that sweet? And finally, again, sticking with the male theme, this card. This one was my favorite doodle pop, the little mailbox. There's so much dimension on it. And then it came with the two little um, little envelopes. And then again, here was that strip, a strip of paper. I added a few of the little heart sprinkles and then sending lots of love and then a little cloud just because it's cute. So um, I wanted to show you everything I had over. You know, I made these 10 cards and I just look at all this in the bits and pieces, then the odds and ends, a ton left, and then here's the chit chat. I mean, you could easily make 50 cards, easily. You would need more pattern paper. Um, I have probably, there's a lot of scraps in here. I probably have five full sheets of pattern paper left out of 24, the rest are cut down scraps. I didn't use any of these, um, but I used a few hearts and those will go nicely in my stash. Sorry, I was interrupted, so I don't know where I left off, but um, I have these hearts left. And then here are my doodle pops. I like these because, you know, there's several that come with it. I only used one. Then I have the envelope, the phone, little TV I wanted to use, but I just couldn't find a use for it. And then I have the ladybugs left. So. I have enough here, aside from paper, to make a ton more cards, but you know, any any Valentine themed pattern paper will work. But let me know what your favorite card was. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Links to everything will be below, like I said earlier, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.